night of the final day. Twelve hours remain. Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forrest Falcon. Welcome back to Majora's Mask Craziness. It's been a while since I've done this. Like, quite a long while, actually. I had quite the backlog of videos and to the point where... Surprisingly, this is an episode that's actually going to be concurrent to uh, what's going on, considering uh, that... Yes. Like, as of this episode, I actually got to see something like the Nintendo Direct that happened, like, just the other day. And got to see the fact that we have a Z Zelda game besides Wand of Gamelon where Zelda gets to be, like, the main her heroine. So, I already set up um, just the first little thing here. Um, so that we can go to the Upside Down. Not because I want to go out here. It's because there is a bean spot that is, like, right here. So that's one of the things since between last episodes is that I kind of have a bit... I have a lot of ideas of some checks from watching myself. Like, the entire time, like, editing through and going through all the videos since before, I was pretty much just, like... Seeing all the times where I was just completely blind to certain checks. Yeah, so this is, like, a, an amazing area that I you would not think of okay cool game thanks I've just tried to talk talk about how amazing this area is to have all these checks up here and you're just like no have some ice traps okay swamp uh, token anything else good okay so you know what never mind it, it, it it's terrible nothing good came out of here whatsoever what yeah like arrows these probably all counted as, like, just one check, right? Yeah. No, never mind. There was, like, a stray fairy hidden in there. <laughs> it, it drives me so insane still. Just, like... Oh, no. Is there another bean spot here? Does that bean spot, like, lead somewhere else? I have to go check now. Gosh dang it. I should have bought two. Why didn't I buy two? Okay, I could have sworn it was a thing with this game where it would actually remember that if you'd been in the tower before, like, it would just flip you upside down automatically. Is that not a thing? Okay, thankfully, uh, thankfully we also had the bottle of water, so didn't need to go and make the, uh, trip out to get some extra water for this. Yeah, I don't know. I could have sworn it was a thing where if you'd flip the tower and you came back to it while it was flipped it would automatically just flip flip it uh just again okay game game wh what is this what is this nonsense what what did you make me go and get this bean spot for So was that bean spot seriously just to go back down? Is that seriously what I wasted my time doing here? So basically, I could have just jumped down, game. You made me go out of my way because I thought, oh, there could be some secret other special treasure to get. It, I, I feel like there's like a phantom memory or something, a ghost of a memory that that is actually a thing. Okay, there is a spot to shoot. Like, that one will make it show up in the above one. But this guy is the one that's upside down. Excellent. Yeah, so we've only got a few hours left to before this cycle ends, so... Let's just tackle the upside down. You never know, we might find something good in here. There's tons of boxes to check. Uh, these boxes look like they're just the magic boxes. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Coming back after all this time, uh, it won't be m much time for you because I'm still doing trying to do this like weekly uh, with this one. I've done some of them bi-weekly, but yeah, I think weekly has been a pretty good rhythm to go with. 
And the nice thing, we've got the light arrows, so we can just really breeze through most most of this. And there's just like the one annoying thing that we can't do because we need to... Uh, uh, we need the fire arrows. And it's in this room, but since we don't have them, we don't have to worry about it. And the thing is, it's, it's like the only one in here where it like pretty much requires you to do like two flips of this place. Oh, some pots down there. There's like a lower pass passage underneath there, isn't there? Arrows, arrows, and you're, you're just here to be a nuisance, right? Oh, this should be interesting. These are randomized. It, it, so, here, grab me and... You missed. How did you miss? I cannot believe that. Like, seriously, that guy just straight up missed me. Well, we got the Sculptula. I think the only thing else that was there was, what, a green rupee or something? Do we just wait it out to get down to that one? No. I, th I bet I could just, like, jump up there from down below. Okay. Maybe I'm too small. Maybe you'll do a better job if I'm, like, Zora Link or something. Maybe I maybe I just need to jump. Also, fierce deity. Now that I don't need these these dumb bottles anymore, I can bring you back. <laughs> okay, I probably need to be a little bit higher at least. Oh, cool! Fantastic! I don't think I've ever done that before. Somehow managed to throw myself into the frozen eye switch and just take damage like that. There isn't even anything here yet, is there? It's like, it will Is this like one of the chests that shows up right here once you've gotten the switch for it? That might even be the frozen eye switch one I'm thinking of. Okay, so I think we just need to run through the the room gauntlet now. Oh wait, maybe it's the... It might be this one. Oh, that's that's another upside down one. Oh, am I going to even bother with getting some of these checks in time? Because so far we've done basically nothing in here and... We've done basically nothing, and we've already wasted, like, three hours. Although, I think maybe an hour and a half or two hours of that might have just been... It might have just been me doing the whole uh, Magic Beans uh, bit there. But, yeah, it, it would be nice if we could get something new out of this uh, out of this temple and I'm gonna have to try and be pretty thorough because I don't want to risk doing too much of it again okay there's I probably should have done this temple the normal way first of all because I'm definitely missing some stuff thanks to it oh and this this area is also locked so I'm probably just gonna need to go and do it the normal way anyway and these pots don't even have anything to justify me making this trip. Okay, that's better. Now we'll do it the proper way. And also, uh, just between cuts there, I decided to look at back at my list and see, was there a point where we actually found a stone tower key? And it turns out, yes. Yes, indeed. There, There is one stone tower key we found. Unfortunately for us... It's tied to the Day 1 Deku Scrub minigame. That's that's like something we took back care of like months ago at this point. Yeah, and considering what time it is in this cycle, yeah, that that that's going to be we got to do this another time. Okay. Can you can you not could you please just not Thank you. 
Okay, do you... Are you never going to blow up? You're just here now, aren't you? Okay, fairy is leaving me. Fairy, come on. Actually, I don't need you. I'm, I'm fully healed now anyway. Okay, where, where is this? Okay, everyone just wants to bug me today. Huh? Thank you. Okay, without those enemies, now we can actually get... Okay, now without those enemies, we can get over here to get this check. Which is, of course, just looking like some magic jar. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the good old classic magic jar item we all love. Don't know if I've ever been in this little crevice, but it's cool to know Fierce Deity can just bring us there anytime we want. Okay, so... This looks like nothing. Man, I, I can never trust the stupid grass. Also can't trust Fierce Deity to get through most doors. I'm gonna be honest, probably not the best idea to try tackling this dungeon during the final cycle where there's like no time time left okay Camaro's mask nice it, it's about time we started finding some of these masks we've been we've had so few up to this point we might we may not even be able to make much progress in this direction because once again locked door oh my gosh you you just don't don't stop, do you? You just keep on going. I could have sworn those guys eventually blew up once they set off, but I guess no. They just they just run forever. Okay, empty pot. Empty pot. And there's probably gonna be bonefish somewhere around here. Because they always love to pester you. No matter what you're doing. Sheesh. Like, every every pot is just, like, nothing in it. Okay, that's... The underwater passage is, like, nearby here. So the nice thing about that is that underwater passage will allow us to bypass uh, one of the locked doors we have to deal with. It's just a bit higher up. Okay, that, that, that one's the switch we already dealt with, which we couldn't do anything because, again, another locked door. Okay, we've got the Igor up here. I swear, if, if all of these boxes are just absolutely nothing, I'm going to be a bit disappointed. We at least got one item here, though. And who knows, maybe, maybe Camaro's... Okay, um, I don't think I've ever done this sort of sequence break before. Like, I, I, I couldn't do that if I was trying deliberately, is what I'm saying. Like, I, did, I didn't even know that was a particular kind of jump I could do, but look at this. Okay, let's deal with you as, okay, can could you stop? I'm, I guess I'm just going to have to spam it. Well, did a, did a fancy jump, and now we're here. I don't know. We, so, maybe we could do this backwards, if it weren't for the fact the door locks, unfortunately. One green rupee. Totally worth it. Pulling off some ridiculous sequence break nonsense. So that'll take us back to the main room. Um, we don't really want to be there. Uh, but I have to. So I have to do the whole loop again because I... Still, worth the one check. Totally worth the one check. You're not actually guarding anything, are you? You're just kind of hanging out. Yeah, so I guess I ramped up off of, like, one of those things and was able to get 
th through that section? Through that section? Probably could never do it again deliberately trying to do it. Like, I mean, look at this. Like, my current skill level, I'm, like, completely botching doing a simple, uh, like, like, strong dive out of the water to get up there. You think I could do that deliberately, what I just did to get to the Igor? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> What is going on here? Okay, thank you, finally. All this for probably another green rupee. Yeah, it, it, it's not healthy having the, the game decide to go, uh, go silent mode on me. I'll probably, like, fix the game up. Oh, right, these are all separate checks, too, so... But you're gonna be annoying, aren't you? I can fix that. Enjoy bombs. The only problem is there. there's not a point to, like, jumping up there, is there? And are we sure Fierce Daddy can't just climb this? No, but maybe he can jump to there. And that'll save me at least one Zora jump out of here. Uh, if he, if only he didn't decide to dive. <laughs> okay, can I do this first try for a change? Oh, sure, that one I managed to do just fine. And it was worth it. There was one check. It was just some, but it was just random magic power on the ground. This this room is just, it's either very easy and straightforward, or it's just a pain. Like man, I guess doing those like seven failed attempts or more. Oh, cafe's mask. That's actually huge because now we can properly do the Andrew's quest. I think. So, we, we're not getting too many, like, super major items, but we're at the point in the game where it's like there's not many left to find. Like, most of these are, like, pointless green rupees. So I think that takes care of most of what we can do from this side. The only other way we can go is over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to worry about you guys. I'm not going to beat you up every single time I come back to this room. Yeah, there should be some stuff that we can get right behind this wall here. Do these boxes have anything for us? Nope. Nothing. Just in case. Just in case. So we're doing alright. At least with what we can do. We unfortunately can't clear this place out again. Because we do not have any of the keys. So do I bother coming back here ne to start next cycle? Or do I just say, let's go and try and take care of some of the other stuff that we can do? No, that is not what I wanted to do, but I, I could just play a song while this hangs out there. It's fine. Oh, right. <laughs> Me trying to th imagining that there's going to be just invulnerability frames as the game actually... <laughs> pauses for the song, just immediately forgetting about the fact that this uh, has the speeded up animation. So at the very least, that makes it, that room a heck of a lot less of a pain. And rechargeable grass with nothing in it. Unfortunate. Please, I, I don't want to deal with you guys. Why did they have to put so many of you in this place? Oh, well. That works. 
Let's follow him down into the abyss. <laughs> okay, we got a heart. We got nothing. Man, it's just none of the pots or boxes or anything has been useful in this dungeon. All of it is just not factored into the logic. And it feels, it feels really wrong to be in like the final hours uh, and to have no music to go along with it. So I wasn't paying attention, but I just noticed that apparently um, picking up the stray fairies, even when there's something useless like a magic, dar uh, magic jar, it still actually counts as being a, as being a healing fairy. Like it actually gave us back our health from that. Okay, so this is the last check, uh, at least of this part. And I don't think we can take care of Camaro until the start of our next cycle, because I think he only appears on uh, he only appears on the first two nights. Okay, you can chase me all you want but I'm going to get this heart piece. Yeah, so we get this item, and then I think we're good. I think after that, this is this dungeon is pretty much done. Uh, Quote-unquote done, because we ignored like half of it. It's fine. We'll be able to take care of part of it at least. Uh, but the problem is with having one key is that it means we can explore either the upside down part or we can explore the normal part. I think with everything we have, maybe we just finish off exploring the the normal regular half first since we don't, since we can skip this key and we can just not have to worry about that. I think what we're going to do, we're going to call this a cycle and we're going to return to the first day and yeah, we'll see how things go from here. Yes, hi Goron Link's belly. Good to see you again. Okay, so I think first things first, with us being in a new cycle, obviously we want to get our money back, but I think we should go and get... I'm going to go do the Deku Scrub mini game again to, uh, to get us the Stone Tower Key, and then... We might also go and pick up something else, because uh, since, um, like I mentioned, I've had time to actually go over some of the past episodes, uh, I have a list of like checks that I missed that I want to go and look back over some of them. And I think I can just, you know, bail out after that. I got the key. I'm done. I don't need anything else. Okay, so one of the checks, I believe, is in this one. I'm pretty sure. Because I noticed that there was a beehive, which I don't believe I ever checked. Oh, cool. Cool. It, it, it's just bees, isn't it? Actual beehive check. Totally worth it to check that. Good thing I remembered that. Okay, there he is. And it's funny, because I did this grow, like, multiple times. And one of the problems I had to deal with was uh, naturally the fact that there were ice traps that were dropping. Okay. That was it. That was it. That was it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> the stupid thing is this item isn't even an important check at all if it is actually what it is supposed to be and not a stupid ice trap like so many of the other things were but I think one of the times like trying to just speed run my way through this I think I saw it and I was like oh that's just arrows uh, which which sort of works I mean you could attempt to use it as an arrow I'm sure it would work out just fine Okay. 
That was the arrow. Gosh dang it. So it's like the fifth drop or something. I swear, we're getting this item and then we're never dealing with this crow ever again. Ever. I don't care if it's another run. I don't want to deal with you. Eh, I'd have to. That's the arrow. That's the sword. It is the actual Great Fairy Sword. It only took me like five or six tries to get the stupid thing. It's somewhere along here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I probably should have come in at Snowhead. It's probably on that side. Okay, that's a terrible jumping, but we made it. Right, of course, of course there's an ice trap. My gosh. Ice traps have been such a bane of my existence this entire run. I don't have bombs, do I? I haven't, I haven't picked up bombs. Gosh dang it. You know, I think it's maybe about time that I started uh, just taking advantage of the fact that I have infinite money so I can afford to waste it on absolutely stupid stuff. Like, sure, I will buy these bombs at exorbitant prices. And we made it back here and our money still hasn't even finished counting up. Yeah, so there's a grotto here. So all this effort blew about a thousand rupees just to come in here and get like this, what's probably going to be a single green rupee. Oh no, it's a snowhead uh, stray fairy, so not completely worthless. Of course, the ice trap again. I knew it was nearby here. But yeah, we're back here. Back here again because there is a check that we missed all the way out here. And I'm glad I wasted all my magic so I can barely make it over here. We can do it. We can do it. Besides, I could have always done it blind. Definitely could have done it blind. Yeah, so we're back here because there was a treasure chest. Not this one, but one of the other ones that I didn't get. And cool, we I, I didn't need it. I could have just gotten my powder cake here if I really was doing it. Okay, so I can't remember exactly which one it was in here, but there is a chest that I did not pick up. one of them in here okay could you give me some magic please game thank you like it would be pretty ridiculous oh let, let's have the lens of true truth room have no magic whatsoever yeah so this one I think is the one I did not get there we go Take advantage of that quick spin action. Ugh. So pretty much the only thing that we got of value uh, going back through these checks was the uh, the great fairy sword. Okay, well, I guess what I'm going to do... I think I will do this off screen. I'm going to go back to all the stuff we need to get for the cafe side quest, and we're going to do that this cycle. So... Thankfully, most of it is all in areas that we've uh, been for. Actually, no. You know what? I can go... Since I need to go with Woodfall anyway, there's actually uh, two checks that we can do in, Windf in Woodfall. So I'm going to pick those up right now. That That's a freeze. <laughs> okay, so like I said, Woodfall Temple. There are two checks that we missed. One of them is this little fellow here. It's a bomb bag. I don't know if we'd found the bomb bag already b by that point, but still would have been a nice find to get. Okay, let me just double check. Woodfall Key, where are you? Snowfall in the Icicle Room in Snowhead Temple. Yep, not going there. No way in hell. 
Oh my gosh! Man, really wish I had not gone and forgotten this check the time I was here. I, I swear, this is the check that I missed, right? It wasn't the other room, was it? Am I going to need to check both rooms? Okay, I'm, I'm not dealing with you. I just get, give me my lit up stick and I'm going to walk it down. I'm pretty sure this is the room I completely forgot about. Yes, I'm pretty darn sure it was the Dragonfly one. Okay, get out of here. You, you've been causing me pain already this episode. Of course it would ma make sense that right near the end I'd be dealing with you guys again. Please tell me it was something worthwhile, because I have to make a trek back out of here. Uh. You know, it would be really nice if you could actually go backwards through the boss door. Then that would actually be... I got this beehive, right? Definitely got this beehive. It's definitely not got something special in it, right? That looks like new. Cool! Well, you know, it's good that I remembered another check that I'd missed. That's fantastic! Bonus checks! <laughs> but man, how did I how did I end up not recording that one down? Cause I could have sworn I I think the problem is I might have been uh looking for beehives out out of the mouths of these guys on the walls rather than the ones that on the tree. Of course, there's more of you. There's always more of you. You're in every room in this game. Okay, you're done. You're done. You're done. Thank you. Now I can have a peaceful and relaxing time in here and not stress out about the stupid dragonflies. Yeah, that's where it is. It's over there. And then what? what's over here again? Stupid green rupee. <sighs> can I get you with Zora? Please say I can. That would be so helpful. Yes. Yes. Okay. I mean, I mean, it wouldn't have really done anything. But now, just for the sake of completion, since I never actually picked up this one. There we go. There we go. Easy. <laughs> I mean, might as well just purify the swamp while we're here. Saves us a trip if we end up needing to do the Deku Princess after all. And you know, I, I, I still think that actually doing that, going and fixing this place up, w ma just makes our life easier for what we have to do next, which is come over here and get into the spider house. Like, I actually think do doing that particular boss end <laughs> was a faster way to get out rather than having to do the whole, oh, I'm going to do the whole thing with Deku Link and watch out for all these Deku scrubs that are shooting at me. Yeah, last time I was here, I think I only had two hearts and barely any, like, useful skills. Okay, seriously, Link. Like, seriously, Link. Roll into the tree. Roll into the tree. We're not doing this again. We're not having another tree moment, please. That's not it. It must be one of you. There it is. Okay, next destination. Hey, Macau, sorry, still can't save you. Don't have that song yet. You'll just have to keep waiting for, like, I don't know, 10 more cycles. We'll see. Okay, we got the room key. Find ourselves making the walk through here one more time. 
because I forgot that it was actually in the Deku area. Uh, it might be right around here. No, that's not it. Oh, that, no, that that is it. <laughs> I Man, how many times is it that where it's like I, I walk up to something and I'm like, oh, that's nothing. Ends up being something really important. And this time we're going to actually have the road to Romani Ranch fixed beforehand so I can do a proper final check of the... Uh, of the items we get from saving Romani and Kremia. And I think just as a final thing, um, before we wrap things up, we're gonna go ahead and do the whole get the chicks to follow us. And that should put us pretty much at about the last possible minute we can be at before we need to do the, uh... <laughs> to get the room key. Or... Wait, we don't even need to do it to get the room key. That doesn't matter. Because we already got the room key. We got it through alternative means. Oh, man. It's been so long since I did this. I don't remember where they all are. Gosh dang it. It's going to be so annoying if there's, like, one just hanging around somewhere. Where are any of you? Man, all of you were just hanging out over here on the other side. <laughs> There's the one I missed over here. Okay, that's eight, and now it's just a straight shot to the last two. Thank goodness. There we go. Now I just need to be patient. But yeah, I don't think we need... We could let him have his room. But maybe we should just, you know, keep the timeline consistent and make him sleep outside. Okay, yeah. All this for a stray fairy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I think now that we've gotten all the stuff we need for the side quest for starting this next cycle, I think we're going to call it here. And next time in Majora's Mask Randomizer Craziness, uh, actually, you know, right now, we're going to steal his, his room right now. Yes. Yes, we already had the room key, but I will gladly accept this heart. Okay, so yeah, so next time in Majora's Mask Randomizer Craziness, uh, we will get started on the whole Anju Cafe side quest and see what goodies await us there, so... Thank you all so much for watching. May you soar like the amazing falcons you are and have a wonderful day. Peace out.